back with another video for you today. And today we're talking about two fragrances from the House of Galavant. They are Amsterdam, this right here, and also Berlin, this right here. You're also going to have a chance at winning a full bottle of either Amsterdam or Berlin, or a discovery set of all five of the fragrances all coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews and discovering new fragrances and discovering new brands and participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And yes, today we're talking about Galavant and Galavant is run by Nick Stewart who I got to meet last year when he came to San Francisco. He gallivanted around San Francisco and uh, he did a launch of fragrances at ZGO Perfumery uh, which is also in here in San Francisco. And then he had also mentioned that he was launching two additional fragrances which are Amsterdam and uh, Berlin, which launched late last year. But I shot a video with Nick and he talks about the brand and I want to cut to that so he can tell you himself exactly what the brand is all about. Um, I've spent two years developing the brand Galavant, uh, a word that I love because it's got a sense of humor mm -hmm. about it. What does it mean? It means to wander, to walk, to travel, to discover. Often there's a sense of doing something on foot in terms of gallivant, you would say, for example, in, in England, we would say he gallivanted around town. I've been gallivanting around town. Exactly. Cool. So it had a nice sense of humor that appealed to me. Um, so I spent two years developing it, working with two independent female perfumers, Karine Chevalier, who's based in Paris. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've heard of her. She's someone I had done a little bit of work with uh, in my time at L'Artisan Parfumeur. That's how we knew each other. Um, but we just share a sense of humor, which was very important to me, a sense that perfumery should be pleasurable. Um, and similarly with Georgia, who's the other perfumer I worked with, who's Italian, Georgia Novara. Uh, I think she's a big star to watch for the future. She trained under Bertrand de Chauffour. Thanks for watching that short clip. But yes, uh, late last year he launched Amsterdam and also Berlin. And I want to tell you what my thoughts about these two fragrances are. I wanted to also mention the fact that these are 30 ml bottles, very portable, at $95 per bottle in Eau de Parfum concentration, EDP. So they're very, very easy to transport if you travel a lot and you love smelling great and you want to carry your bottles with you, but you don't want to take 100 ml bottle, 125 ml bottle, you know, 150 ml bottle. These are so compact and portable that they're very, very easy to transport. It's 30 ml, so that's a lot of juice. It'll last you a long time and it doesn't weigh as uh, heavy as other fragrances that are out there that could be heavier. Some bottles could be really heavy. The bottles are also sturdy, but not like overweight and heavy. So very, very easy to transport these fragrances. But let's talk about Amsterdam first. Amsterdam was launched last year. And according to the notes on Galavant's website, this is a conceptual imagining of a black tulip. So it's floral, spicy, woody, and ambery fragrance. So here at the top, you've got notes of Elami Shinus Molt CO2 extract, Sichuan pepper, saffron. In the heart, you have tulip and rose. And in the base notes, you have cedarwood, musks, sandalwood, and amber. So I want to spray this on me. I've been wearing it and testing it out, but I want to spray it on me so I can remember, but I have some notes down about this fragrance. And what they wrote on Galavant's website is actually very, very true. The, the actual conceptual imagining of a black tulip. To me, tulips, I absolutely love. They're beautiful flowers, but they hardly have any scent, if any. But when you smell a tulip, you definitely can pick up some faint smells. If you have a strong sense of smell, you can pick up uh, the smell of tulips. There's very faint smell. And this actually smells like that smell amplified and intensified. Kind of sort of like, think for example, the Fougere. When they created Fougere fragrances in the late 1800s, um, they were trying to produce a smell of ferns 
that ferns didn't have. So this is kind of similar to that, I think, the concept at least. So they basically reimagined the way the smell of a black tulip. Um, and it, it's fitting because Amsterdam or Holland or the Netherlands is, are known for tulips and this is uh, Galavant's Amsterdam. So basically, as soon as you spray the fragrance, it does have um, this resinous smell to it a little bit. It's LME. And then the Sheenus Mole CO2 extract, from my research, turns out to be uh, pink pepper berry oil, uh, I believe. And then it's a little bit spicy at the top with that Sichuan pepper. The tulip kind of appears with the rose. I think it's more rose than tulip to me uh, in the heart. And then as it's drying down, it becomes woody and musky. And this is what I liked about this fragrance, the muskiness. It's definitely, to, the musk uh, note is pretty uh, heavy uh, or dominant in here. And I like that about it, but it is, Compared to the other fragrance I'm going to talk to you about, this one, Amsterdam, is definitely more beefy, more robust, uh, more heavier uh, compared to the other one, even though I like the other one as well because it's all about vetiver. But here we have something very, very unique, really, really different, and I love the idea of taking uh, and taking it, I mean, making a fragrance from uh, uh, just imagining how a flower, if it smelled, would smell, or just amplifying how uh, the smell of that um, tulip. But I, I like this one a lot actually. I like it because it's different, it's unique, it's floral, it's resinous and it's ambery plus musky. It's, it's, it's a great release. So if you'd like your fragrances to be a slight bit different, not typical of what's out there, uh, this one is the one to try for sure. Amsterdam from uh, Galavant. So let's switch over to Berlin. They're pretty close uh, cities. So Galavant's Berlin is this one. Again, 30 ml bottle, $95. Very uh, good deal on these fragrances. 95 is under 100, so you're getting niche fragrances for under 100. It is 30 ml, it is EDP, and very easy to transport. So Berlin is considered a woody, citrus, spicy fragrance. So for notes, you've got grapefruit, clementine, lemon, and there's that Sheenus Mole CO2 extract again at the top. Again, uh, from my research, I figured that it was pink pepper berry oil. So in the heart, you have black pepper and black tea. And in the base notes, you have Haitian vetiver, cedarwood, and patchouli. So let's spray this one on so I can smell it to remember. But from what I remember with this one, it's a very bright and uplifting citrus, which is how the fragrance starts, citrusy. And as it's drying, it gets darker and darker because that vetiver kind of takes over the citrus and kind of makes it darker and woodier. Uh, although it doesn't get too dark for a vetiver, I found this one to be very, very easy to wear. And this one actually got me a few compliments the several times I was wearing it. Um, and that was a great thing because this is very, very pleasant smelling. Um, I'm a big fan of vetivers and I love all styles of vetivers. And this one had a mass appeal kind of a, a smell. Although at the top, it's more mass appeal. As it's drying down, it does get darker, but that top is just so, luscious and invigorating with all those citruses just makes it a really really juicy start to a, a fragrance that's gonna start bright and happy and uplifting like a sunshiny day and it's gonna get darker and darker although you know days do get dark eventually and that's exactly how this fragrance played out to me um, I think it's a perfect fragrance for Berlin I've been to Berlin three times now I really love Berlin I could actually live there and I think they've captured Berlin perfectly here uh, and if you're a vetiver lover, you definitely should check out Galavant's Berlin. Um, it's, it's, a, it's definitely a vetiver you can wear all year round, especially in the summer. I found it to be pretty lovely in the heat. With that little bit of uh, heat wave we've had here, uh, it worked out perfectly. So that's Berlin. Those are the two um, latest releases. And I know Nick at Galavant is uh, mentioned that he, they are working on a few more fragrances or maybe just one, I can't remember. I think it was just one now that I think about it. Um, so I'm looking forward to find out what city uh, they have 
been working on or they're, they're, they're releasing next, I've told him to do one for San Francisco. So hopefully he'll do one for San Francisco. But anyway, that's Amsterdam and that's um, Berlin, two cities that I love in Europe and I've visited Amsterdam twice and as I said, Berlin three times and I love going to these cities. And I love fragrances inspired by cities that are amazing. That's just really cool. I love travel and I love buying fragrance in, uh, on my travels. And these are a great idea, I think. So check them out if you don't know them. There's the link in the info box for the, the brand, Galavant. And now for the giveaway, um, you'll have a chance at winning either Amsterdam or Berlin of your choice. And that's the first prize uh, if you are selected first. And then the second prize is a discovery set with all five of the fragrances. So one lucky subscriber, one choice of the fragrance, and one lucky subscriber of this channel. Uh, with the discovery set. This is open to USA, Canada, and European Union subscribers of this channel only, please. Um, so guys, are you familiar with Galavant fragrances? Have you tried any? And if so, which one is your favorite? Let me know. Also, if uh, you haven't uh, tried any, let me know which one sounds great, uh, which of these sounds great. And for the giveaway, Please put down which of the fragrances sounds the best to you and why, and which future fragrance city would you like to see from Galavant. Please put those down and please put your country, otherwise you won't be qualified. And again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. Otherwise, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.